Alright, so today I want to start thinking about the wiring pattern or the, the direction of the wiring. I have a positive terminal here, a negative terminal on the back, uh, or in the bottom back, and I can either orient the battery pack as is or flip it and have the negative terminal here and the positive terminal down there. Um, why does it matter? Which side do I want the BMS? Well, I have to put the BMS on the negative side of the battery, but how do I want to route my wires? The blue lead goes to the negative terminal of the battery outright, so putting it down here puts it in direct proximity. Um, so I can take the negative terminal, bring it into the BMS, bring this to here, to the fuse block, and then from the fuse block bring it out to the circuit breaker and coolant meter, uh, as well as the uh, fuse load center. Um, this seems the cleanest, and then I just have to run a positive lead down to there, uh, as well as a lower gauge positive lead up to the fuse panel as kind of a, a load center tie-in. Or I can bring the load center, which is on this side, and just bring it straight down here to the positive terminal on the inverter. A um, little bit more hacky that way, but um, it would work. So I think I'm going to end up rolling with this pattern. Blue lead to the battery negative, black lead to the fuse, um, this terminal on the fuse block up to the circuit breaker and coulomb meter assembly, and uh, so on and so forth. I've got the uh, box, I've got my accessory tray that fits on top, that'll hold cables and adapters of various flavors. And unfortunately you won't be able to see the uh, inside of this, but test fit appears to be successful. Alright, so after a test fit, I found that there's interference in two locations. The first location is along this edge of the gasket. Um, I think that maybe just when this has been disassembled for a couple weeks now, the gasket might have sprung back to its original shape and the interference started a little bit sooner than expected, but that's fine. The gasket's supposed to compress. The second point of interference is along, somewhere along here on this fuse box and somewhere right about here on the circuit breaker. Uh, that interferes with the top of the tray, um, the, the tool insert tray. So my options are to just simply remove it and not put it in which would be less than ideal because it's actually quite handy to hold accessory cables or just live with the fact that there's a slight interference but it doesn't really prevent the lid from latching or closing. Alright, I can barely see, I can't even see the monitor behind the uh, lid of this box so hopefully everything is in focus. I'm going to attempt to mount the battery in position and get it all in place um, and then terminate the negative lead of the battery here, the positive lead of the battery here, and then after that I'm going to run some uh, lower gauge wiring from the two terminals of the inverter over to the fuse box, and then from the fuse box I'm going to power up the, um, pardon me, I'm going to power up the uh, coulomb meter which is not really visible on camera. Um, circuit breakers off so there's no power that would immediately surge to charge the capacitors in the inverter. So let's see how this goes.